The Historic Excelsior Club was founded in 1944 by Robert James Jimmy McKee. He wanted a black social club to rival the white social clubs that were involved in segregation at the time. And he wanted to be for elite black professionals. In fact, the club was known to have members that were somebody wanted to be somebody or thought they were somebody. It also doubled as a very popular night spot as it does to this day and at one point in time was the most elite, one of the most elite black social clubs on the East Coast. Back in its heyday it entertained or it uh, provided entertainment by such renowned entertainers as Nat King Cole for you young folks that's Natalie's dad and also the godfather of soul, James Brown, performed at the Historic Excelsior Club. In 1985, the building was declared a local historic landmark. The Excelsior Club continues to provide entertainment several nights during the week. Tuesday night is Bidwist and Fish Fry Night. Thursday night is Dirty 30 Thursdays. What happens at Dirty 30 Thursdays stays at Dirty 30 Thursdays is the same. Friday and Saturday night is disco nights, and on Sundays, occasionally, they feature jazz. On December 21st, 2010, one of, the, one of the former owners of the Excelsior Club that I knew personally, Pete Cunningham, passed away at the age of 81. He was a representative in the North Carolina House for 22 years, and known as a quiet-spoken gentleman that enjoyed entertaining guests at his club, the Historic Excelsior Club. The club today is owned by a civil rights attorney by the name of James Ferguson. Learn more about the Historic Excelsior Club on our Charlotte Black African American Heritage Tours. Find out information on our website at queencitytours.com. And this does it for this segment of Charlotte Local History. I am Jay, and like the folks in Atlanta would say, I am Georgia.